problems spark the greatest innovation. I once was watching a video by Steve Jobs where he talked about getting fired from Apple. Apple. Steve Jobs is a co-founder at Apple. He was there from the start, but he became CEO and he got fired. But he also said that was one of the greatest moments of his life because that moment sparked one of his greatest creations ever, the Mac computers. Listen, problems are the best thing that could ever happen to you. Because once you have problems, you start to think about how to solve them. For instance, my problem was I was working a job that couldn't help me pay my bills that were coming and they were, they were about to be due. My bills were, were coming up in a couple of days and if I stayed in this job, I wouldn't be able to afford my rent, my car note, a water bill. I wouldn't have been able to afford all those things. So I had a problem. I had a problem and I had to solve it. And that problem helped me reflect so deeply about myself and who I am and what are my skills and what would I like to do with my time on earth? Because when I had those problems, I tell you, I'm, I was sad. I was, I always thought the world was against me. I always thought bad things were happening to me. I always thought, oh my gosh, what is this life? I always thought, I don't want to live this life. Why am I here? I always thought all these things. In the moment, I thought me asking myself all those questions was depressing and just horrible. But now that I look back at it, I realize that those questions helped me find myself and become who I am today. Because I know who I am and I know what I want to do. Right? And after quitting that job, I was able to start my business and discover that, oh, I have some skills that are valuable and I can use those skills to help other people. And like I said in one of my previous videos, the only way you're ever going to be successful is if you help other people. That is where su success comes from, helping others. You have to be obsessed with other people's problems. One of my mentors who I really look, to, look up to and respect, his name is Myron Golden. And he was talking about how he made $41 million in four years. But the only reason why he could do that was because he 10 years ago, which is 2014, he lost everything. He lost his car. He lost his home. He was borrowing money from his friend for about $4,000 a month. And mind you, this man is an older man. He's not my age. He's in his 50s, 60s possibly, right? He has gray hair and he has a family to feed. So he had to start borrowing money from his friend who was giving, loaning him $4,000 a month for over two years. Imagine that kind of problem. You're trying to figure your life out and you have a family, you have kids, you have a wife. But he also mentioned that that was the greatest thing that ever happened to him because that was what made him reflect and think deeply about what he wants in his life. And he made $41 million 10 years later. And today he's very successful and a lot of people look up to him. People like me. If he never went through those problems, I would never find a great mentor who could push me to another level in my life right think about it so my problems have brought me here today and right now you might be facing some difficult problems that you think your life is so difficult right now you think that oh everything bad is happening to me right now the world is not working for me the world is is a shitty place the world is this the world is that you have all these thoughts to, and bad things and negative things to say about the world but i need you to realize that that is the best thing that could happen to you right now because it's helping you show, it's showing you, it's showing you that you have to solve this problem. <laughs> you have to solve this problem. And people think that when they ask God, oh God, I want to be, I want to be wealthy. I want to be wealthy. I want to have money. I want to have abundance. I want to be able to pay all my bills without worrying. They think God is going to just answer their prayers in a stack. They'll just run into a stack of money or some other thing. But no, that's not how it works. God is going to teach you things. And the only way he can teach you things for you to appreciate them and also realize them is through problems. You're going to lose your job. You're going to lose your car. You're going to lose something. You're going to go through a lot of pain and pain will help you concentrate and focus and actually appreciate your time more because you realize like every day is valuable and what you do in every day means something because you cannot live the same life that you're living right now 
and get different results. No, you have to. Something has to shake. Something has to shake because the things you've been doing right now so far haven't served you. The things I was doing two years ago, three years ago, four years ago haven't served me back then. They had a purpose to play to who I was becoming today, but they weren't serving me financially, emotionally, spiritually in any way. But when I, once I went through problems and I realized, whoa, I need to step up. I started to appreciate life more and stop doing those things I was doing back then. So the person I am today is totally different from the person I was back then. So the person who is going to actualize your dreams and manifest all the things you want from life, unfortunately, is not who you are today. Another thing I like to say is all you have is one day. All you have is one day. I know they say there's 365 days in a year, but you can only be in one day at a time. You can only be in one day at a time. One. So all you really have is one day. And that day just repeats itself, repeats itself, repeats itself. So what you have to do is ask yourself, what do I do with the one day I have? What is something I will do with the one day I have that I will never get tired of doing? And for me, that answer is helping you. Helping you realize you can be so much more. Helping you realize you can be better. Helping you realize I was once in a bad place and now I'm in a better place. Helping you realize you can start a business just like I did. Helping you realize life is working out for you, not to you. I can do that every day and I can talk about it all day. Literally, I can talk about it all day. And that is what I need you to do. I need you to figure out who you want to become and what you want to spend your one day that you truly have, what you want to spend that doing to help somebody else. Because the greatest innovations come from people's problems, people's problems. Like for instance, the person that created electricity, they say it's Nikola Tesla or Michael Faraday. I'm not sure. I don't quote, but somebody with a name created electricity. But think about it. What was that person thinking for them to want to create electricity? They had problems and they needed to put energy through something. What was the person thinking that created Bluetooth? They didn't want to have to put a cord in their phone to be able to play music. It was frustrating. They wanted to be able to move freely without so many wires. What was the person that created a computer thinking? The person that created a computer was thinking, I want to create a system that I could talk to somebody in another place. All these things. All these things originate from problems people's problems problems are an important factor to creativity and innovation and when you hear what i just said you, you start to realize and look at the world in a whole different perspective and if you look around the world there's so many problems so many problems in different countries and different differences amongst races and well you need to realize that that's a good thing because it helps us think about how we can all live together. And when these problems continue to manifest, we start to think more and we start to solve more and we start to innovate more, we start to connect more. So I, need, I, I, I needed to create this video for you to see that from a different perspective, that your problems are actually necessary for you to start thinking about who you want to be and the person you need to become to have less problems or no problems at all. You understand you have to go through pain to find peace peace